Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're looking for the very best spot to land this season, Chapter 4, Season 3 in Fortnite, to get all the best loot, then you're in the right place. So you're going to want to land at the gas station right near the trailer park. At this gas station, you can find a ice box, which you will hopefully get a legendary fish from, which you'll need to open the vault. And there is also a upgrade bench around the back of the gas station, as well as there's lock boxes in front of the gas station. We'll get more into why these are important later. Be sure to take a mental note of what's available inside the lock boxes in front of the gas station. Once you finish looting the gas station, run across the street to the trailer park and start looting it. If you are not lucky enough to find a legendary fish at the gas station, you don't need to worry about it because there are pl plenty of coolers around the trailer park and you will definitely find one here almost every single time you that you come here. Putting up screenshots here showing that there are plenty of coolers that you can check in order to acquire legendary fish. If you're playing duos, trailers, or squads, you can definitely loot the trailer park completely and even smash up all the trailers to acquire a lot of metal for building. Next, run over and talk to Aura to the edge of the trailer park and you can buy a thermal DMR for 250 gold if you want one. And she also sells keys for 100 gold each. Next, run across the bridge and you should also be able to find another cooler here for another chance at a legendary fish, just in case you didn't find one. If you take the zip line across, there's another little island which also sometimes has a cooler where you can also sometimes get a legendary fish from. Next, jump off a zip line to get to the vault and go take note of what's in the lock boxes around the side of it. Go into the temple and run down the side and then use the legendary fish in order to open up the first door of the vault. In the first room you'll find one rare chest and one normal chest and a couple of ammo boxes. Loot up and go and check the door. As you see, it's going to say find flames. Match flames. There's also a room in the back with a boomerang, so you can also use a boomerang instead of the fish to get into the vault if you wanted to. Run back out and go up the stairs to the first floor and take a look at the flames in the middle. That's the very first pedestal you need to pay attention to. Don't forget to feed your pet raptor. Take the zip line in the middle to the very top of the temple. Jump down to the floor below and now take note of the four pedestals with purple flames in the corners. The same flames that are lit in the top part of the temple are the same ones that need to be lit in the bottom of the temple in order to open the next door. Run back down the stairs to the bottom level of the temple and turn off the flames in the basement until they match the flames on the upper levels of the temple and the door should open. Be sure to check this every single time because the flames that are lit and are not lit will always be different each time you play a game. In the next room, you need to press one of the statues in order to open up the very last locked door. Once inside, you will have three rare chests, two regular chests, and a bunch of ammo boxes to loot. Looting thing inside this room, you can also break 
everything with a Chester City Guard in order to loot faster and stock up on a lot of building supplies. Once you're finished, go back out to the next room with the statues and use the other statue in order to rift out of the temple. With this rift, you can make it back to Aura to buy more keys, make it back to the first lockbox as you checked at the gas station, which you already know what's inside, and also to the upgrade bench. If you look at the mini map, there's also a third location that has lockboxes you can choose to rift to if there was not things you wanted inside the first two locations that we've checked. You can also rift back to that gas station to use the upgrade bench in order to upgrade your weapons if you were not lucky enough to get gold ones while doing this loot run or using your keys to open up the lockboxes. And that is what makes this one of the best spots to land in Chapter 4, Season 3 of Fortnite. Comment, like, and subscribe for more, and thanks for watching.